Okay, this is a very important but short video, and I want to get the word out to you regarding some of these lures that are used in wasp and hornet traps. They are by a company called Rescue, and we have Yellow Jacket Attractant, and we also have WHY, which stands for Wasp, Hornet, and Yellow Jacket. And this has a dual lure in it. What I'm very interested in showing you is what happens inside these traps. All the trap designs are the same for consistency. This one right here has apple juice in it. And of course the um, bacon strips that I've been hanging, it attracts only wasps, primarily yellow jackets, and no honeybees. Now this becomes an issue, and the reason I want to put out this short video right away, I think a lot of people don't identify properly what honeybees look like, and they may be trapping them thinking that they are wasps. This is the bait for the rescue WHY in this one. Primarily wasps in that, but uh, there were yellow jackets and hornets as well as honeybees. This one is the real problem for me. Rescue yellow jacket attractant. This yellow jacket attractant goes into a cotton ball and look what's inside the trap. Uh, honeybees, lots of them. The WHY kit also attracted some honeybees. You can see them in here. That's not the end of the world, but I'm just concerned that I think a lot of people don't know what a honeybee looks like and they just assume that the trap is catching stinging insects and they don't realize the impact on the honeybees in their area. So that's the WHY kit and this is a yellow jacket specific attractant. Look at the trap. Chock a block full of honeybees only. Wasps and hornets weren't even attracted to it. So this is rescue yellow jacket attractant. I would not use this in any trap no matter what the design is. Look at all the honeybees that are in it. Now we're in October, it's October 8th. And as I said before, I just want to get the word out. I know a lot of people are trying to trap stinging insects this time of year. Please don't trap the honeybees. This is another um, trap, of course, that only has apple juice in it and it has bacon. That's the best bait if you're going to be attracting yellow jackets and wasps because they eat the meat protein. Honeybees are repelled by meat protein and they will not be occupying these traps. So all three traps in the test are the same. The only differences are the baits used. Please protect the honeybees. Get the word out. Do not use these yellow jacket attractants. Thank you for watching.